What up, guys? Okay. I just had to do something really quick on my phone. But, um, but yeah, so Serene Green. I didn't really want this topic to be kind of heavy, but it turned out to be that way. So, hey, it is what it is. I really like this area. I haven't, there was no disturbances or nothing. I wish I should have came here first, <laughs> for real. But I'm glad I, I started off sitting on that bench. It was nice. It was nice to sit on the fucking, sit on something down here. But, um, <laughs> sit on something. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So. But when it comes to the game stuck in this, you guys. Um, their goal is to irritate you. Their goal is to. If they can't touch you, they can't do nothing to you. We have control of our own energetic field. So with that being said, feed onto your vessel what works for you the best. What works for you the best. My bad, I just had to move a little bit, but um, energetically, now make sure your foods don't gotta be like super high quality, but like, you know, I got a bunch of 99 cent like protein snacks or you know shit like that whatever um i'm mindful of what i'm mindful of making sure i intake a certain amount of you know whatever nutrients that i need to still be very effective in each day so make sure that is a number one food is medicine so make sure you guys um food pouch is a1 when it comes to your body and your makeup i might as well get a little comfortable <laughs> fuck it like i'm here by myself i'm chilling no one's back here a no one's back here no one's back here it's not hot hot i mean it's not hot period but There's no mosquitoes, which is great. Like, I love it when there's no mosquitoes. But yeah, guys. I'm so sorry you guys had to deal with that bullshit earlier, but I'm sure you guys don't mind. You guys can relate. So, let me do something real quick. I'm not trying to make it. Do a little something here. But yeah, so it's crazy, y'all. It is crazy. But no, when it comes to game stalking, like, uh, if you don't have enough funds to get yourself sage or, you know, to always be around like a tub to have like a nice spiritual bath, whatever. Yeah, sage is another way of giving yourself a spiritual bath, too, I feel like. But, um, the best spiritual bath really is just plunging yourself into the depths of nature. Depths of nature. Um, being around water, you know, do that, be around water. I found another cool spot that I can, you know, just kind of hang out at and chill at when I'm not working or when I'm not, you know, in routes between errands. And it's very, very, very peaceful. I'm still trying to find more um, hidden spots in the area. So I'm trying to maximize what I got going on. Um, but anyway, though, so... When it comes to what my ancestors showed me, when it comes to detecting humanoid individuals, <laughs> you know, technology went crazy high by the time 2020 hit. I mean, it does that every year from what I've observed as a citizen of the country. Um, 
it went crazy high post 2020 for sure and any any mal intent technology that is being you know created or whatever the fuck i feel like my ancestors let me know about it especially if it has a lot to do with me um well duh you know like if your ancestors show you shit it has a lot to do with you you know they're not going to show you shit if it has nothing to do with you or if it's just just for people over here just for you know a person over here nah. but uh yeah guys that is yeah yeah but serene green i am loving this green top i'm loving it and i'm loving my day today i got some new snacks i'm chilling y'all don't really care to see me eat <laughs> But when I actually eat some delicious ass shit, I'll be sure to um, record myself eating so you guys can, you know, get a nice, we, we, we can go on a date, you feel me? We, I'm a foodie, so we can go on a date, you feel me? A food date, you know, for the love of food, let's go on a date, you know, for the love of food. So, you know, if we get something wicked delicious, you know, I'll be sure to record myself and just enjoy the fuck out of my meal i might get up a couple of times to get some more like sweet and sour sauce or something i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know but for the remainder of the series of these videos i'm gonna keep it lighthearted. that just came out so like whatever i was supposed to talk about for serene green that's that's what it is um I know I'm about to, oh wait, as a matter of fact, hold up, where did I put my, my other drink, hello, give me, give me a second guys, my bad, <laughs> like if, if you can't get a knot with your hands, you gotta use, you gotta use your teeth, if you can, if you can, if you use your teeth, use your teeth, <laughs> undo locks because this is cold naturally I gotta drink this before it doesn't get cold anymore it's kind of important <laughs> all right yeah let's see and as a matter of fact I'm just gonna get one of my snacks y'all because I kind of am a little not hungry but you know I, I like snacks I like my snack I like my snack I gotta have my snacks but yeah guys as I'm saying it like that that reminds me of the Scooby-Doo um, cinnamon crackers or, or cinnamon cookies yes cookies the Scooby-Doo cinnamon cookies are so delicious Oh, and I love me some vanilla milk, you know, like, vanilla shit, vanilla shit. I like strawberry shit. Let me be real wise of what the fuck. I like vanilla milk, strawberry milk, chocolate milk. Especially if you're consuming it. Like, I'm about to consume some vanilla milk and some Carolina Reaper um, puff snacks. It's supposed to be extra hot, so I'm looking forward to that. Now you guys are just going to watch me have a snack moment, so 
Hope you enjoy. This will be like a half mukbang. Oh, hell. I gotta get this off. Give me a second. Nope, you're not invited. No, you cannot have it. These ants, dude. All right. Carolina Reaper, here we go. These are so good. Sure there's no ants crawling on me. Mm -hmm. These are bomb digs. Mm. Every bite. Every time I go to the dollar store, I have to get one of these. It just does it. You know what? Ooh. One second. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Yep. Shit. Yeah. Y'all might see some of my, now this is black lip gloss. It's not black lipstick. For those that were wondering. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Oh shit. All it took was a couple. I'm good now. Mm. Yeah, I'm good now. That was hot as hell. have any more of that. Holy shit. That did the trick though. Mm. My big ass thing of water. Uh it's clutch. Okay. Too bad. Babe. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Oh yeah, and it cleared me up too. Weesh. That's what I love about eating hot stuff. It just keeps you cleared up. Especially when you're like small in stature like myself. Ah. It's easy to clear your you know, get cleared up. But it doesn't really matter your size, to be honest. Like, naturally, when something is hot in temperature, and then you're eating it, it clears you up naturally. Or maybe I'm just speaking for myself. That's what it does for me. Let's 
see. I'll put this one in here. That was very satisfying. I don't need to eat nothing else. I'm good. That's why it's good to get nutritional stuff. So, you're not scrapping down a bunch of fast food that costs half your pocket. You know. Instead, just go to a dollar store, get you a bunch of 99 cent nutritional value stuff. You'll be able to survive off that for real. You don't, you know, you don't have to always go to the fast food joint to survive. Like, oh, that's the only way I could eat. Oh my God. You know, and if you're blessed enough to have a kitchen, if you're blessed enough to have access to get yourself a pot, a pan, a spatula, a big spoon, you can cook in your kitchen. Why are you still spending money on fast food when you could just cook in your kitchen? Go to the grocery store and get foods that you're naturally drawn towards. That will be good for your health, good for you, and you'll feel better after you eat it. Shit like that. And it doesn't matter what will happen, what happens in your life. Whether shit happens the way it happened in my life. Where you're under a roof, then you're out of the roof. You're under a roof, then you're out of the roof. Even when you're out of the roof, you're still taking good care of yourself type shit, you know? All of that, man. All of that. All of that. All of that. All of that. Serene green, guys. Ugh. Serene green. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty serene today. Um, Don't pay game stalkers no mind shit. Don't pay them no mind. Just like the title, Serene Green, as I was saying in the beginning of the first video, my mindset is abundance. I see nothing but abundance. I don't give a fuck what's going on. I don't care who's around me, who's trying to do what, to what, to what, to what. They're doing all that shit to themselves, literally, is a mirror. No one's doing magic over here. No one is, ooh, you know, none of that bullshit, you know? Whatever that you're doing, you're doing it to yourself. And that's not just a smart aleck thing to say. You really are doing it to yourself. It's a universal thing. This takes me back when the little girl version of myself was leading me through um, this pyramid. And I saw nothing in there at all. Nothing. But along the walls, I've seen nothing but mirrors. In one of my videos, I said I didn't see the reflection of the little girl, but I saw myself. To be quite honest, I don't even think I saw myself. Like, I can't recall seeing myself in that reflection in the mirror. Because I didn't see the little girl's reflection, so I didn't see my reflection either. But I saw that there were mirrors, like, far over here. On my right-hand side, of, you know, a long hall of mirrors. Anyway, maybe that's symbolic for the bigger picture of shit. Oh, but yeah, guys, I'm about to go ahead. Um, but my state of mind right now is the state of mind of abundance, you know, abundance and health. And, you know, like when someone is. And you know, you'll know if someone is uh, low frequency, low vibrational is, you know if someone is low vibrational when, when they hear abundance, when they hear wealth, they automatically think about material funds, money, 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 house, car, stuff, you know, money, money. Abundance isn't always that. Abundance isn't always that at all. Abundance can be simply taking so good care of yourself, of your body, of your mind, of your senses, of your spirit, of your soul. It's taking so good. Oh, hell no. Nah. Uh, anyway. Um, taking so taking care of yourself so well to the point where you know you have manifested for yourself in abundance 
of wealth of health. Wealth of health, meaning you already have your own natural habits of taking care of yourself to where it works for you. Each time you take care of yourself, it works and works and works for you. It doesn't always mean money. It doesn't always mean funds. Just, and this is how you detect a low vibrational person from a high vibrational vibe person, vibing person. Low vibrational, if they're always focused on money, just say wealth, abundance. Just say that. And hear what they'll say after that. If it has anything to do with money, not to say money's bad, money's evil, no. You know, because what the hell can you do with money when you don't know how to take care of yourself? What the hell can you do with money when you don't know how to take care of your health? Oh, they got professionals for that. Oh, there's specialty people for that. No, we are responsible for learning our body, for learning what's good for us. We're responsible for learning what's healthy for our mind, what's healthy for our spirit. We're responsible to know this. We can't rely on somebody who has known you for 20, 30 plus years to know what's good for you because when the time comes, when you need, you know, when you need something because your health is on the line, they might not always know what the proper procedure would be. They may not always know how to properly um, handle the situation. But if you know, only you know how to move to, in order to get your health back up to the abundance par, you know. So my mindset is abundance. Right now, the abundance I'm maintaining is my abundance of health. Health above all else used to be my favorite thing to always say and still is. Health above all else. Um, try not to consume too much cheese. Cheese. Don't consume too much cheese. Um, from my experience, now yeah, cheese is delicious and shit, but not all the time. And if you can help it, not at all, but not all the time in particular because... She, where cheese dwells, typically evil does too. Where cheese dwells, you know, stress, anxiety, rush, rush energy dwells as well. You know, from my experience, you know, so far on my journey so far. Cheese was always around when, um, not not always to be honest, but like you'll notice if someone wants to make some type of business deal with you and they feed you something with cheese in it. When you're sitting down with business partners or potential business prospects to be business partners with you, watch what they serve you. If you guys go out on a lunch date or whatever and you know you talk about business prospects or whatever, look at what they serve you. If they serve you something not healthy, very cheesy, if they serve you something not so healthy that they eat as well, that's a bad business deal. Because they allow all this cheese in their system they're serving the same shit to you which means they agree with the vibrations of how it makes their body feel afterward they agree with that they agree with being sluggish they agree with being lazy they agree with being um you know an advocate of unhealthy foods like consistently um they agree with being stressed out all the time. They agree with being rushed around a lot or rushing to do shit a lot. You don't want to agree to those vibrations because that's the true vibration of cheese. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. How I feel, what I've noticed. So, cheese, yeah. Beware of the cheese. They all. This is random as fuck, okay? This is random. But there's this UK TV show 
called Misfits. Yo, I love Misfits. Um, it's about a group of um, young men and women who got in trouble with the law doing whatever the fuck. So they had to be sent to this camp of some sort and they had to like clean up around the environment, clean up their area, the neighborhood, whatever, something like that. And they had to wear orange suits or something like that. Um, but there's this one episode of Misfits where um, I think it might have been the second season, I don't remember, but there was this uh, Caucasian male who was addicted and love and obsessed over milk, anything dairy products. He obsesses over dairy products, but he also had a superpower with dairy products. This is gonna sound gross, beware. This is very gross, guys. But um, if anybody is around him and that they and consumed any kind of dairy, which is milk, cheese, whatever it may be, they can literally, this, this Caucasian male can literally make this person throw up or like he could really tear up the inside of the individual who just consumed the dairy to the point where it's detrimental and that person dies, all because they consume dairy. He has the power of controlling the dairy products once it's consumed in somebody's body. I'm gonna let that sink in. All right, self-love all day, peace.